So it'll be six cars, six laps of distance. Your first of four heat races in your IMCA Hob Wild Thing Hobby Stocks presented by Sign Masters. Green will come out. We are underway with Hobby Stocks here tonight. Pierce and Freilich will lead them into turns one and two. Ertman to the back bumper of the 3P car. Now tries to take a peek to the inside. Craig Glift up on the high side in the 77 car as they come through turns three and four. Justin Freilich in the lead lap number one. Freilich with the advantage over Craig Clift. Clift coming from the outhouse trying to make it to the penthouse as he is now in second and he drives it down the hill. Great run coming off of two even though it was a little sideways. Made up some ground on Freilich. Three, four, and five up for grabs. You have Ertman, Pierce, and Kane in those spots. Unfortunately, it looks like the 18 of Zachary Fry calling no joy, pulling a pit side and getting stuck. So Fry pulls it in. Crank lift trying to get to the back bump with the 76 car. Freilich, the 77, trying to run the 76 down. 81X in. So in third of Jeremy Ertman, Pierce, and John Kane. Rounding out your top five here currently. Through turns one and two, Freilich pushes up the track a little bit. Cliff taking a look to the inside. Now nothing doing, cannot get the run as Kane tries to get a run on Pierce for that uh, fourth place spot. Great flag in the air, two laps to go. It is still Craig Cliff trying everything possible to get by the 76 of Freilich, but Freilich just a little too strong on that higher line as once again, Clift gonna get to the quarter panel and that's about as far as it goes. Drives in a little bit deeper on the low side as they are now gonna be side by side coming out at the line with, for the white flag. Freilich by about a half a car. As they sail it into turns one and two, Ertman trying to catch him as the better run goes to Clift that time by off turn number two. Clift, your new race leader now into turn number three. Kane gets to the inside of Pierce now as they come through turns three and four. It is going to be Craig Cliff picking up the heat race win. Freilich in second, Ertman in third. Steven Pearson, Johnny Kane rounding out your top five. But hey, Larry, we have any aloe cream back there for that burn I just got? <laughs> but, but you know what? It's okay because when it comes down to it, if you and I were standing side by side with each other, People will come up and talk to me because I have to keep puppy. Yes, yes, I did. That would be the case as we go green here. Off a of turn number four, Dallas Williams and Justin Shearn lead them through turns one and two. Logan Fitzpatrick trying to cut through the middle here, split the difference. He's up to second in the 221 car. Justin Shearn leading them through turns three and four. Single file. Here come the Fitzpatrick brothers. I don't know if you noticed or not, Scotty, but there is smoke starting to come out of the 221 of Logan Fitzpatrick. We're going to keep an eye on that right now as he is going to drive it down the hill. He is going to try and get side by side with Sure. Not going to happen. Sure currently leads. Logan Fitzpatrick second. Dylan Fitzpatrick third. Dallas Williams fourth. And the 22T, Tyler Smith, rounds out that top five. Four laps to go. Four laps to go. Dylan Fitzpatrick trying to catch up to brother uh, Logan Fitzpatrick, who's running second. Logan pushes up the track a little bit. We're almost side by side. Some brotherly, lovely racing here down the back stretch. In it turns three and four. Logan sails it in deep. Sold it cheap in that 221 as Justin Shearn still your race leader. Shearn now starting to gap the 221 of Fitzpatrick as he is running a almost flawless race right now. The, the brothers Fitzpatrick now going after each other as Dylan trying to work on getting by Logan. Logan trying to hold off Dylan. Right now, two laps to go. It is all Justin Shearn up front. All Justin Shearn up front. Logan gets a little tap from brother Dylan as they put it side by side into turns three and four here. Logan on the top side as Dylan pushes up into the muck. Dallas Williams getting by the uh, 82 at Dylan Fitzpatrick as Justin Shearn will see the checkered flag fly this time by. He'll come out turn number four, Justin Shearn. He is going to wrap up heat race number two. Logan Fitzpatrick in the 221 in second. Dallas Williams third. Dylan Fitzpatrick fourth. And rounding out the field, the 22T of Tyler Smith. 
So that'll do it for heat race number two here in your sign masters IMCA Wild Things Hobby Stocks. Ladies and gentlemen, we also would like to uh, remind you about an event coming up on June 20th here in just about three weeks. It will be Racers for Autism Night here at the new Raceway Park with uh, proceeds going to the Pierce Center for Autism out of Sioux City as we go green here with heat race number three or four for your IMCA Hobby Stocks. It is going to be Lowell Jansen with the early advantage. Here comes Ben Snyders to the outside. Great run for Snyders as he hauls it down into three. A little bit of advantage, and it looks like, yes, he is indeed going to take the lead. It's going to be Ben Schneider's Lowell Jansen. No, David Miller, then Lowell Jansen, second and third. David Miller trying to go from the outhouse of the penthouse here in heat race number three. Last week's eight feature winner and three feature wins on the season so far for that 34M car. Schneider slides up in front of him as Miller crosses over, still running second at the flag stand. Try again here in turns one and two. Miller going to sling it down to the inside of two. Not able to do anything. Ben Schneider's able to hold him off. They're going to head on down into three and four. Miller again trying to drive it down the hill. Able to get up to about the quarter panel of Schneider's. Or of, and that's about it. Miller going to try and restack for another shot. Trying to get the runoff turn number two. Could not get it. As they come into turn three and four, Miller tucked heel behind 34B of Schneider's. Drives it down the hill as Schneider's pushes up the racetrack. Schneider still with the race lead, though. Two laps to go. Once again, David Miller now trying to drive it down the hill, coming out of two. Can't quite get up to the left rear quarter panel of Schneider's. Schneider's again going to hold him off going into three and four as Miller drives it down. Again, gets right up to the... Quarter panel, that's about it. White flag is out, one lap to go, and I'm going to quit saying it again. White flag out as Ben Schneiders and David Miller push through turns one and two down the back stretch for the final time here in heat race number three. Schneiders pushes, Miller tries to cut to the inside. Not going to happen. Great race there between the 34B and the 34M. Lowell Jansen comes across the line in third. Carl Monroe fourth. And Austin Ludquist, your top five. Okay, I've heard of being addicted to coffee, but that's ridiculous. 50-50 tickets, though, ladies and gents. Buy them on up. Girls are right here by the flag stand. The winning ticket has not been bought yet. Word just coming in. Winning ticket has not been bought yet, so buy them on up. Well, that you know of, it hasn't. Oh, I know it hasn't. We still get, can't get confirmation if we're allowed to even buy any. Either way, a green flag is out. We are racing, and Joel McGee is going to jump to the early advantage as he slings it down into one and two. Fetterman right there on his back bumper, and along with Fetterman, they're bringing in Bales. McKee trying to get around Finzen right now, but as they come through three and four, it is going to be the Toy Scout, Joel McGee, leading lap one, but he is hounded by the seven of Tony Fetterman. The Mad Star Race Rescue Channel 9 KCAU 9 car out with the race lead being chased by a number seven of Fetterman, Bales, McKee, and Finzen rounding out your field. Track coming in nicely. Look at that 16 of Finzen just throw it through the corner. Want to say hello and a special hello to everybody on the Advantage Racing TV Facebook Live look in right now. You still have plenty of time to get your nightly pass to www.advantageracing.tv, www.racewaypark.tv, or www.imca.tv. We'll stay live for just a little bit of a look in, but you still have plenty of time to catch the rest of the action the rest of the night. Joel McGee still leads there in that MedStar Race Rescue number nine car. Also the KCAU Channel 9 car as well, I should say. Fetterman trying to run him down in the seven car. Zach Bales all by his lonesome in third. Michael Finzen trying to put up a battle with a 12 Emma. Phil McKee at the back of the pack, but out in front, though, taking the white flag this time by the number nine, Joel McGee. The Toy Scout will fly under the flag stand as Jesse Toyota drops the white flag as he slings through one and two. Tony Fetterman try as he might. 
He's going to have one more shot in three and four, but I do not think he uh, is close enough to try and really affect a change for the lead. And in fact, he's not going to. Joel McGee wins. Tony Fetterman second. Zach Bales, the island unto himself, is third. Fourth to Phil McKee. And Michael Finzen, the, the big boat that could, will round out the field. We want to say a hello to Brighton Peterson and Trent. Hey, Ginger. Hey, Ginger. Watching on Advantage Racing TV From Afghanistan. Out deployed to defending our country's freedom. Gentlemen, thank you for tuning in tonight as we race in honor of you here this Memorial Day weekend. He's going to see Dylan Fitzpatrick taking the early race lead over the 44 car of John Kane. Fitzpatrick, Kane, Carl Monroe running third. Here for our IMCA Sign Masters Hobby Stock Trophy Dash here tonight. Tyler Smith running fourth. Austin Ludquist, Mike Finzen is your running order. Fitzpatrick still with the lead there off turn number two. John Kane trying to run him down in the 44. Carl Monroe all by his lonesome. In third, Kane looking to turn down the hill. Cannot do so off a of turn three and four. It is Fitzpatrick, Kane. Monroe, Ludquist, Smith, and Finzen. John Kane has caught the 82 of Fitzpatrick and take a look to the inside. Fitzpatrick up in the marbles. Kane down in the smoother stuff off turn number two, still side by side for the race lead. Dylan Fitzpatrick, a wheel man behind the 82 machine there. Regains the race lead from John Kane as we are halfway down, halfway to go. Kane once again takes a peek to the inside, a little slideways through three and four. Is the 44 car in second. Fitzpatrick still hangs on to the race lead. Monroe, Carl Monroe, the 1M car, briefly caught to the back bumper of the 44 machine. Nothing doing through turns one and two through three and four now. Is the 82 and 44. Lundquist a little squirrely through turns three and four. Keeps it. Straight, and we're still lean, mean, and green. Mike Finzen pulls off in the 16 car. Green flag coming out two laps to go this time. Mike for the 82 of Dylan Fitzpatrick. John Kane knows he's got to do something and do something quick if he plans on taking home the cash here in the trophy dash. Kane once again takes a peek to the inside of Dylan Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick with a better run too close to call the lines. The white flag flies one more time around. Fitzpatrick, can he hang on to it? John Kane to the inside through turns three and four for the final time here in the trophy dash. Fitzpatrick, Kane coming off turn four. Dylan Fitzpatrick, your trophy dash winner. You have those tickets coming up to the, to the announce booth. Scotty, let's send it down to you with our Trophy Dash winner. So down here with Dylan Fitzpatrick, your Trophy Dash winner here. Dylan, this track received some rain overnight, but it's breaking down nicely. How fast is this racetrack right now? Uh, it's smooth, I'll give it that. It's still pretty slimy, so it's hard to really give it some speed, but I think some of these big tires are really working off. It'll be a good finish. Picking up some cash here tonight in the Trophy Dash. What adjustments do you have to make here to become a feature time? Oh, I don't know. I think I think the track's going to stay about the same. I think we're just going to leave it and hope for the best. Once again, your trophy dash winner here tonight, the 82 of Dylan Fitzpatrick out of Magnolia, Minnesota, PJ. This is your parade lab. They're going to come out fighting when the bell rings. Ladies and gents, these are your wild things, your sign masters, IMCA Hobby Stocks.
21 cars, 14 laps of distance. We are about to go green. RPMs come up. Let's go racing! As Dellis Williams leads the field down into the turn number one, he is going to go to the inside. Oh, a little contact between Williams and Freilich right off the bat, but we have a bit of a cluster going as Lowell Jansen bottleneck the nine of McGee. McGee falling back to the field, but right now it is all Dellis Williams leading Justin Freilich. Oh, and oh. coming off. Uh, looks like the Dallas Williams car. The carcass of the tire in the left rear of Dallas Williams car coming off. That is the inner tube sitting on the track, PJ. As the field going around the 99 of Williams. Right now, no caution. As now, Williams is going to go around as there was no way that car was going to be able to stay straight. And now the caution is out. So car around Dallas Williams. Around at the bottom of turn number three, you see the inner tube from that tire sitting up in turn number two. It looked like, PJ, that the tire went flat and just the momentum of that wheel, the RPM of that wheel setting that tube flying. I think that's what we saw uh, coming off that car. Well, it was either that or some kind of weird new UFO, dealer's choice. Conley development on June 13th. Then... We have Peer Center for Autism, Racers for Autism Night on the 20th, and then the 27th of June, the Midwest Madness Tour, brought to you by Contra or sorry, brought to you by Hawkeye Distribution. Make sure you're at one of these great races. We are back to green. Back to green here for your IMCA Wild Things Hobby Stocks, brought to you by Sign Master. Frey, like a little push, and turns one into David Miller. Last week's feature winner trying to go two for two here and pick up his fourth feature win of the season at the new Raceway Park. He's your new race leader. David Miller serving notice early that the championship is going to run right through that 34M as he is now starting to put a little bit of a gap between him and Frey, like Justin Schoen still sitting third. Ertman in fourth. Ben Schneiders now checks into the top five as he is sitting fifth. Just outside that top five looking in, it's Logie Bear, Logan Fitzpatrick. 221 car of Logan Fitzpatrick trying to make up some distance between him and Ben Schneiders, who's sitting in that fifth place spot. Look at Craig Cliff, though. Cliff coming through the field in the 77 car. So was the 82 of Dylan Fitzpatrick, who started deeper in the field. Fitzpatrick to the inside of the 3 PS Stephen Pierce. And battle back on deeper in the field between John Kane, Zach Bales, Carl Monroe, and Tony Fetterman. As the 18 of the lap traffic, uh, Zachary Fry, about to come lap traffic here in just a few short laps. Well, just as I was saying about Logan Fitzpatrick wanting to join into the top five, looks like he gets flown by by the cliffhanger, Craig Cliff. Cliff starting deep in the field, and he is now up to that sixth place spot. Looking for more as he is now on the back bumper of the 34B of Ben Schneiders for a top five spot. Zachary Fry, the 18 car, pulling into the infield. He will call no joy and be done. Meanwhile, David Miller trying to hunt the 16 of Mike Finns and to put the 16 car lap down. Your best battle out on the track right now would be near the back of the pack between Zach Bales. Carl Monroe and Tony Fetterman and John Kane, four cars battling for a position as David Miller has caught the 16 of Fins and puts him a lap down and now looking ahead to more lap traffic. Just as you said, that was the best battle. We have another one shaping up right now. That is going to be for fifth and fourth as here comes the cliffhanger. Craig Cliff to the inside of the 48J. Justin Schoen. He is trying to take a look and get by him. Oh, Tyler Smith almost into the wall on the front stretch of the 22T. After trying to uh, give a little bit of room to your race leader, David Miller, but we're still lean, mean, and green. So Miller, still your leader as uh, he is about to come up on a gaggle of cars. Dellis Williams, a 12M of Phil McKee, as he is trying to get by both of those cars right now. Meanwhile, you got the 48J Justin Schoen ever sliding through the mud every which way but straight. He is going to come to a stop on the front stretch and bring out the caution. Caution is out. Caution flag flying for the 48J of Justin Schoen. Vapor locked the car, got it refired and back going. Man. 
talk about the run that David Miller was having in the 34M in lap traffic. Now out of lap traffic, the field bunches back up. Tyler Smith, Steve Pierce, Lowell Jansen, John Kane, Carl Marneau, Tony Fetterman, Austin Ludquist, Phil McKee, Dallas Williams, Zach Bales, and Justin Schoen as we go back to Green Flag Racing. David Miller leads the field through one and two. It is a battle for second and third right now as Freilich has it. But I'll tell you, the cliffhanger, Craig Clift wants it. He was, oh. oh, and we got one hard into the wall. I do believe that. That is the number nine of Joel McGee. Coming into turns three and four, oh. Logan Fitzpatrick, the 221 car. In a turn three, and that car went straight sideways, pushed through the corner. Joel McGee was to the outside, and a tough head-on hit for the nine car of Joel McGee. Medstar out on the scene already, stocked and towing, heading to the scene. You know, here's a surprising thing, PJ. I don't see any fluid as we're going to take a look at a replay here. Joel McGee passed Logan Fitzpatrick, crossed over. It was a clean pass. You see the 221 car coming into turn three. And that car just did not turn, just hit the slick and straight up the hill with the nine car. Oh, just a complete racing incident, but tough luck for the number nine of McGee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure just the angle he hit, he probably broke some of the steering components on the right side, which is not allowing that car to turn right now. Well, you see him, he tried to turn to the left, and that left side didn't move either. So, is we going to take another? Oh, as you see, Joel McGee climbing out of the car now in turn three and four. So, driver is okay. Stocked in towing, going to work, though, putting that MedStar Race Rescue KCAU number nine car on the hook. To go away from Joel McGee when the car washed up and hit him. So, in my opinion, I don't feel like there was any ill will there. I think, really, the car just simply washed up the track. Yeah, no, no, nothing at all. Nothing intentional as we come back to green flag racing. Green, white, checkered finish here for your IMCA Hobby Stocks. Brought to you by Sign Masters. Miller's right. going to lead them through one and two and down the back stretch. And it's turn number three. Miller going to see the white flag this time by. As David Miller is going to sling down through. Goes under the flag stand. Here comes Craig Cliff, the cliff hanger, now trying to get into that second spot, and in fact will get un get second away from Freilich. Now Freilich trying to drive under back underneath, not going to happen. The only problem for Cliff is he didn't do it soon enough. David Miller wins number four of the year, second to Craig Cliff, Justin Freilich in third, Jeremy Ertman in fourth. Ben Schneiders is going to round out that top five. So. Scotty, four wins this year already. This guy is definitely putting on a dominating performance week in and week out. Back in the day, it was as simple as undoing your belts, taking your helmet off, and climbing out. Now it's a little more complicated. Ladies and gentlemen, let him hear you. Four wins this year. That is David Miller. Scotty, let's send it down to you with a word from Mr. Four Time. So David Miller, uh, second week in a row down here in Victory Lane. Fourth win of the season. What a run you're having this season. How much does that mean to you? Yeah, it means a lot. Should be leading the points now. So to having a wonderful season here, who do you have to thank again for putting this 34M car in Victory Lane? Uh, my brother, my dad, my kids, and my wife. So once again, David Miller putting it in Victory Lane. Congratulations, my friend. Give it up for him one more time, ladies and gentlemen. David Miller, driver of the 34M, your sign masters. IMC Wild Thing Hobby Socks, a feature winner.